We found some amazing travel trailer floor plans under 25 feet. Stick around, you're going to want to check these out. Hi everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And today we're taking a look at travel trailers that are under 25 feet long. We found some amazing floor plans. We're saving the best one for last. So stick around till the end of the video so that you can check it out. Hey, if you've seen us on YouTube before, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing us on YouTube, welcome aboard. We make tons of videos all about RVing and we have our website, rvblogger.com, where we literally have hundreds of articles that we've written all about RVing as well. And if that's not enough, we also have our Facebook group, RV Camping for Newbies. We invite you to join the group, hang out with other RVers, and learn all about RVing. Today, we're gonna to focus in on travel trailers under 25 feet long. I think you're gonna love some of these floor plans, so let's get started with our brief reviews right now all right so this travel trailer is the forest river independence trail model number 172 rb it weighs just over 3,000 pounds at 3,065 pounds it's 20 feet 5 inches long and it sleeps three people this is a really nice small travel trailer for any family to get away and enjoy some time out camping Anyway, when you walk in the front, uh, the side door here, the first thing you have is a nice queen size bed on your right hand side. Each side of the bed has a nightstand with some storage underneath of it. And then there's a receptacle on each side of the bed and USB ports just on one side of the bed, but at least you can charge your cell phone and things like that. Also, there's a wardrobe closet on either side, very deep. It goes all the way to the front of the RV. I would say it's two and a half, maybe three feet deep and then an open shelf up top here for additional storage as well. Now for extra storage underneath this bed, this also opens up and you have plenty of storage under there as well. I don't recommend propane under there, but you know, we're at a dealership. The kitchen in this camper is really adequate. I mean, it's got a little bit of countertop space, single bowl sink with a sink cover. So you have, you know, added countertop space that way. Two burner stove, which is plenty. Down below, it's got lots of storage space under here. I mean, it's really impressive. It goes all the way back, um, so that's a nice feature. And then above, you have your microwave oven. And then next to that, you have a freezer, separate freezer and refrigerator, which is really a good size for this size trailer. And then across from that, you have a dinette, which can easily seat two people you can drop the table down and convert this into a bed. So this camper will actually sleep three people in total. And then you have additional storage up above. And then off to the right over here is where you would mount your TV, which would be fine if you're laying in bed watching TV, not so great if you're sitting at the dinette, but that's okay. So here I am inside the shower and uh, very basic shower. It's about three feet by maybe two feet. Uh, but plenty of elbow room in here. Height-wise, inside the skylight, you know, you might be able to be about 6'3 before it would be too short for you to stand up fully. Okay, so this bathroom spans the whole back of the trailer, and they sure made the most of it. They put this gigantic vanity in here. It's got storage down below, plenty of countertop space, with nice big sink, and then an extra deep medicine cabinet up top, so you have plenty of storage space in the bathroom. This travel trailer is the Keystone Bullet Crossfire 1850RB model. It is 22 feet, four inches long, and it weighs 3,950 pounds. But it's got a terrific slide out, and this baby feels much bigger than the measurements would indicate. When you first walk in the door, you'll come right into your kitchen and living area. And this kitchen is a big inline kitchen, which I really like the inline kitchens. You have a really large kitchen sink here. You've got a two burner stove, and then you have some extra countertop space, which is a really nice feature. A lot of trailers don't have that much countertop space available. Over top, you have some music set up. You have this little space for extra storage, microwave oven, and then additional storage over top as well. And then down below, lots and lots of storage under the sink, under the cooktop, 
and then you've got whoops, your drawer space set over here. Everything's nice and solid though. I like the way it all feels and the lighter cabinetry and all that stuff. So really nice setup in here. Now behind me is where the refrigerator would be located. And so it's kind of in line with the kitchen as well. And it has a nice separate freezer and refrigerator. So that's a good setup. And then right next to the fridge, you have all this pantry storage. And this is pretty deep. This probably goes back more than two feet. So plenty storage above and below as well. Right across from the kitchen area is your living area. One thing that makes this trailer feel so much larger is this whole area slides out. So your couch can bump out. It just opens up your floor space in here. And then this couch can fold out into about a queen size bed so two people can sleep here. One nice feature is it's got a little end table right next to it with some storage underneath. Okay, at the back of this travel trailer is where the queen size bed is located. It's got a nice amount of storage. It's got these big wardrobe closets on either side. And then one thing that's really unusual is it actually has a drawer on each side as well. That's pretty rare. You don't see that very often. Uh, a little bit of open storage up over top. And then behind your wardrobe closet, there are two areas like a little alcove, one above and one below, and there's a little receptacle and uh, not HDMI, USB. USB. Why do I keep saying that? A USB port down below as well. It has that on both sides. So you can charge your phone overnight or whatever you'd like to do. And then a little bit of hidden storage underneath of the mattress as well. That's a good amount of space that you can stow away the things that you don't really use very often, but it's there if you need it. So here I am in the bathroom, and this is one of the few showers I've ever been in that the skylight isn't over the shower, but I'm 5'11", and again, there's maybe an inch or two over my head inside the shower, so you taller guys might have to crouch a little, but I love the fact that it's got the corner shower with the glass doors that roll in. It just makes the most of the space, gives you the most amount of elbow room. Over here, we have a good-sized medicine cabinet. You know, small sink, decent counter space, and then storage down below. This side of the bathroom doesn't really put any cabinet space in here, but honestly, that's okay. Our bathroom's set up the same way, and we just put towel bars in here, and then we have a place to hang our towels. So sometimes the open wall isn't a bad thing. This very cool travel trailer is the Gulfstream Vintage Cruiser 19 CSK model. It's 23 feet, 2 inches long, and it weighs just 3,395 pounds. But it's got that gorgeous vintage design that looks really, really different from just about any other travel trailer that you'll see out there on the market. When you first walk in, you've got a really big wardrobe closet up here on the left that can serve as a coat closet or all kinds of storage for you. Your refrigerator is also located over here, but you have a separate freezer and refrigerator, and it's got the really nice colored finish on it, so it just blends and contrasts really nicely with all of the wood tones that are in here. Just to my right, we have the kitchen area, which features a large, deep, square kitchen sink, a three-burner stove, some countertop space. It's got this really cool little backsplash to go with the vintage theme. Also has an oven down below. Plenty of storage space all around and three drawers for all of your utensils. Up top, you have additional storage space up here. All these cabinets are very deep as well. A microwave oven, little radio, and even some more storage over here. So here I am directly across from the kitchen on this nice comfy couch. This baby jackknifes out. One adult or two small kids could sleep on here pretty easily. This area also bumps out, so it creates a little more space inside the camper. You'll also notice these two little corner cabinets on each side. Great use of space. Love the wood tones and everything in here as well. Towards the front of this travel trailer, you'll find a queen size bed, cabinetry all around. It's got wardrobe closets on each side plenty of space up above as well. And if that's not enough, the queen size bed lifts up and there's storage under there as well. And then right across, there's a TV mounting location right here so you can relax in bed and watch TV in the evening. 
Towards the front of the travel trailer is a very nice sized bathroom. I'm standing inside the shower, of course, and I've got about four inches of headroom over top of me. I'm 5'11", for those of you that don't know. The corner shower with the glass doors is very nice and roomy and luxurious. And then, of course, wrapping around, you have your medicine cabinet, additional storage shelf up top, good size vanity with countertop, and then storage below that as well. All right, this travel trailer is a Heartland Mallard Ultralight model. It's the 210RB, and it weighs in at just 4,598 pounds, and the length of it is just 22 feet and one half inch. So it's really not that long, but it feels much bigger in here. And as we go through uh, on the review, you'll see why. Now, when you first come in from the exterior door, you walk right into the kitchen and living area. The kitchen area itself is an inline kitchen, lots of countertop space. It's got a nice big sink, three burner range, oven down below, also plenty of drawers and storage space down below as well. And then above, you've got a spot to hang your TV here. You have your microwave oven and then more storage above as well. Now, the refrigerator in this model is also kind of in line. It's just on the other side of the entry door. But one really neat feature with this refrigerator I've never seen before, this is a chalkboard finish, and you can write on your refrigerator with chalk, leave notes, you know, that kind of thing. It's pretty cool. The fridge is a very good size, and, you know, we like the fact that it has a separate freezer from the refrigerator. And then just to the left of the refrigerator, there's pantry storage above and also down below and that's probably about a foot and a half deep so lots of storage there so just across from the kitchen area is the living area as well in this rv and it's it's a smaller uh trailer but it uses the space really well this particular sofa can fold out and become a bed so one or two people can sleep on this and then you have some storage above as well now if you're wondering where your dinette table is you would sit right here. It's got a freestanding table, which currently is located in the storage space, but you would just have a table here. You'd be able to watch TV right across from you. So it's a really nice little setup. It makes the most of the space. One of the best features of this travel trailer, though, is the fact that it comes with a king-sized bed. Uh, so lots of folks are looking for king-sized bed, especially folks that are taller. Um, and just so you get a feel for the height in here, I'm 5'11". You know, there is a good, you know, eight inches over my head. So you could probably be 6'6 and be able to stand up in here just fine. But as you can see, there's storage on both sides of the bed plus over top. So there's plenty of room for you to, to make the most. You can sort of get around the bed on both sides, but not, you know, not completely because these cabinets come out pretty far. Plus there's a lower ledge below that prevents you from from going back much further. There's also a little storage under this bed, so you could hide some extra storage items under there as well. All right, so this is a pretty decent sized bathroom. I'm standing in the shower right now, and you know, you've got about six inches over my head. So if you were 6'5", you could stand up in here easily uh, and be able to take a shower as long as your head stays in the skylight, but it's pretty big, so I think you'd be fine with that. I like the glass doors in the you know the corner shower setup i think it makes the most of the space and it feels very spacious in here uh, off to the side here we have a, a deep medicine cabinet which gives you plenty of storage lots of countertop space around the vanity and then even more storage underneath and then of course we have the commode and then plenty of storage above the commode as well so all in all a really fantastic layout in this particular travel trailer that has some really nice features to it. This travel trailer is the Winnebago Micro Mini 2108DS and it weighs 4,080 pounds and it is 22 feet 6 inches long. It's a nice light travel trailer that would be easy for you to tow behind most vehicles. But one really cool feature that we really like about this trailer is the Murphy bed setup. And the reason we like that is because it makes this part of the camper multifunctional. You can sit in your couch, hang out, watch TV, or you can turn it into a bed pretty easily. Just fold this down and out. 
and then this just pulls right on down. It's got this strap on here, which holds all your covers in place. So when you fold it up at the end of the day or in the morning, um, everything stays in place and doesn't go falling all over the place. It's got a wardrobe cabinet on each side. And then it also has a nightstand on each side. It's sort of tucked underneath of the wardrobe cabinets. But it's a pretty cool feature that we really like that helps to make this trailer have more than one function. There's also additional storage underneath of the couch. There's two big drawers under here. And then each end table or nightstand also has storage under it. All right, the kitchen area in here is a nice inline kitchen. And starting at the far end, there's a little countertop extension here if you want to add some extra countertop space. The sink is a nice big, deep, single bowl sink, big rectangular sink, so you have plenty of room in there. There's a three burner stove. Um, there is no oven underneath, but it has this big drawer for storage. And then above, you've got your microwave. And then right next to all that, you have your refrigerator with a separate freezer. Right across from the kitchen area, you have your entertainment area here. You can mount a TV here. You've got your radio and a little bit of storage up above. And then down below here, you have like some pantry storage in here. There's a couple of shelves in there um, that you can store, you know, canned goods, things like that. The dinette in here easily seats four people. It's in a slide out, so it actually makes it feel a lot roomier in here. And then of course, under each dinette booth seat, there's additional storage there as well. All right, so here I am standing in the bathroom, and of course I'm in the shower. Uh, decent sized bathroom in here. It's got about a three foot shower by two feet. I like the shower door because it has the track that holds the curtain in place, so you're not, you know, the curtain's not blowing in on you. So decent size. Headroom is not very plentiful though. I'm 5'11", and if I stay in the skylight area, I'm fine. The minute I leave, I hit my head. So uh, folks that are 6'2", 6'3", or taller are gonna have a tough time. But right across from here, you have very large linen closets, a nice medicine cabinet, uh, decent countertop space around the vanity, and a little bit of storage down below. Let us know which one of these awesome travel trailers was your favorite by leaving us a comment down below. We hope you enjoyed checking out all these travel trailers today. And by the way, speaking of check it out, if you'd like to check out some of our other videos, just click one of these boxes down below. And remember to subscribe to the RV Blogger channel when you do and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every week when we put out a brand new video. So for Mike and Susan, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.